Hey Aries, so I'm here to do a general energy reading for you guys. I do have my relationship cards out here, just in case this turns into a relationship message. This will not resonate with all of you, so please take what does, leave behind what does not. Let's see what's going on for my Aries at this time, spirit. What do my Aries really need to know at this time? Let's see here. Child, we got third wheel out here. So, someone could have treated you like a third party. Someone could have cheated on you with a third party. You could have cheated on someone, Aries. I don't know, but something to do with a third party here. This could be, like I said, someone could have cheated or someone could just be an enemy here of yours. Someone could have, um, like, participated in going against you. Someone that you don't really know. But they teamed up with somebody else that you're close to behind your back. Let's see. Let's get some more of Aries. We got GIF. Hmm. So a reservation at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you was given as a gift to someone by spirit. But someone misused you. Let's get one more. One more here for Aries. We got loss. Oh, wow. We got two here. Loss with bully. Hmm. Someone could be getting bullied by people around them. Schedule at the bottom of the day. So, someone could be getting bullied by people around them because they're wondering, like, what happened to you guys, possibly. Or this could, like, even just be family or friends here who participated in something behind your back. And you was a gift given to them. Wow, let's see here. Let's see. Let's see. It's could possibly be a relationship, though. I apologize if the camera shake a little bit. Let's see here. One more good shuffle. I just seen the king and the queen of wands. Clarify this third wheel here. We got the tower. What's this tower? Oh. And we got the queen of swords. So there could be a um another Aries, a Scorpio, or an air sign involved. Whoever this queen is, this queen of swords is the third party here. Who this queen of swords? So this could definitely be about a relationship. Or like I say, like a friend of somebody that don't really like you. Oh, we got the King of Wands. Your energy came out here. So this could be someone connected to you, Aries. I don't know, y'all. What is going on here? Crazy, because we got the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck here. <laughs> Didn't even realize that. I just split on the death card. Child, let me see what's going on here. What's this Queen of Swords with the King of Wands? We got the Three of Pentacles. Child, there is a third party out here. What is going on? Oh my goodness. So Aries, especially if you are a masculine Aries, I feel like you want somebody else over another person here with the two of cups at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you want someone else over another person. Hold on, y'all. Bill, go get your food. Go get your food. Yeah, I feel like there's, oh my goodness. Or there could be like someone here that's like trying to stop you from talking to another person. That's like threatening to like bring you down if you talk to someone else. Yeah, there's definitely a relationship here. Definitely. Definitely. Close, close the door behind you. Let's see. Give me some more on this King of Wands here, specifically. Okay, this is you, Aries. Two cards just came out. We got the Seven of Wands here with the King of Cups. 
You know, I've had a couple of readings where this King of Wands and King of Cups came out together. Um, give me a little bit more on this Queen of Swords. We got the Wheel of Fortune. Shy, I gotta, well, before I say what I say, I have to get a little, a little bit more because, like, what is going on? Who this Queen of Swords energy? This Queen of Swords is, like, threatening to, like, end someone. We got protests. Look at that. Mad. Threatening to end someone if they break up with them or if they stop dealing with them. I find that's what this is. Care about this King of Wands here. Someone do not want to stop talking to a person. Child, we got a nightmare with okay. Someone's pretending like they're okay. Aries, I don't know. You going through something here with someone. Someone's like trying to threaten you. What's this King of Cups here? Look at that trap. Someone's trying to trap you. What's the King of Cups? We got natural disaster. The justice at the bottom of the deck here. Illness, overload. Let me get some here. Let me let me pull from here. Baby, there's a third party here that is not trying to let somebody go. This could be a friend that that that's, that like look like you, Aries. It could be like someone that you've been messing around with. At the end of the day, I feel like you're ready to stop dealing with a person, but this person is not ready to stop dealing with you. Give me some more here. Clarify this Queen of Swords. We got no screens. Baby, we ain't got no screens attached. I don't really love you like that. This was never that. It was never what you're trying to make it out to be. But you see how she looking in the picture? She ain't trying to hear none of that. She ain't trying to hear none of that Aries. <laughs> oh my goodness. Clarify this King of Wands. We got feeling like shit. What's the King of Cups? I find this King of Cups and the King of Wands the same person. We got Queen B. Secure, confident, boss B, and career focus. With Jackass at the bottom of the day. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not even going to hold you. What's this towel here? What's the towel here for this Queen of Swords? When everything is fine. Two of Pentacles with the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Someone wants to be juggled with another person here. That's what this is. Somebody wants to be juggled with another person. <laughs> Literally. Somebody wants to be juggled with another person. They're like, why you what you mean you gotta stop dealing with me? Like they want, they, somebody wants uh, Aries here to deal with them while they're dealing with another person that they actually want to be with. But I just feel like it's not going to work like that. I, I feel like it's not going to work like that. Come here. Come on, y'all. My goodness, y'all, what is going on here? Somebody like is on your on your kahunas here, Aries. Especially if you a masculine. If you a feminine Aries here though, I feel like child, I don't know, because I'm really picking up on the masculine energy. So I don't even know if you're a feminine. Hmm. If you're a feminine, they could be, you could like be interested in another fire sign. That's like dealing with a third party situation. Clarify this Queen of Swords energy. We got to go for it. Give me one more for this Queen of Swords. With I got you. Child, on. What's the King of Wands? Dance it out. What's the King of Wands? I don't like how they came out. Someone trying to shake something off. We got, I don't like you. I don't like you like that. Like, leave me alone. It's like, it's okay. I got you. Go ahead and go for it. Go ahead. Go ahead and say you're going to stop dealing with me. 
Somebody's being threatened by somebody here. What's this King of Cups? We got they see clearly now with black sheep. So someone here has like, okay, so this King of this King of Wands is uh, okay, Aries. Especially if this is you or you just dealing with another Aries here. I'm getting that there's an Aries here who is like, he's trying to be in his King of Cups energy, but this person is currently in his King of Wands energy. Very low vibrational. Someone here is very low vibrational in their King of Wands energy. And I feel like someone here, like, you, you, it's possible that you tried to play a third party here. And this person is not for not for being paid, played. Someone had got themselves connected to a third party here that does not want to stop dealing with them because I feel like someone had like love bombed another person. There's a Queen of Swords here that was love bombed by someone. Give me some more for this Queen of Swords with this no strings. We got turning your back. This is crazy. I feel like this Queen of Swords is just refusing to stop dealing with somebody. I'm not going to say she could be an earth sign. Not really have to be, though. But she is not letting up. She's not letting up. Like, she she willing to bet for it. <laughs> she wants attention from this person. And she's threatening to, like, someone here knows a lot of, about somebody's secrets. They, like, trying to plot to set them up or something. You got to be careful here, uh, Aries. You got to be careful here dealing with this person because someone here is like cuckoo over you. And I feel like with the Seven of Wands coming out, you're protecting yourself from whoever this is. What's the Seven of Wands? You're trying to protect yourself. You got chosen one. We already have Black Sheep to come out. I feel like someone here has been pretending to be someone that they wasn't for a long time here. And whoever this person is, they actually want to be with that they realizing is a gift to them. This person is trying to change for whoever this is, for themselves too. But it's like they've done so much. They got so many people. Could, I, I, I'm picking up more than one third party. There's a lot of people that's connected to uh, Aries here. <laughs> Sorry to say it, but they're not, they're not willing to let you go that easily. That is what I'm getting here. I can't deny the energy here. Now I'm going I'm to move on to this card though. Let's see here. Clarify this gift. We got the Empress. What'd I say? Somebody was gifted to another person. Someone literally had an Empress to come into their life. Literally. And they've been dealing with so many women out here that's not an Empress. And again, if you are Aries feminine, this is you. You just you just deal you deal with another fire sign here. That might just be an Aries. If you are Aries feminine. You was a gift to someone. What's this uh, Empress energy? With the four of pentacles. But now I feel like you holding back. You holding back from a person here. Because someone like mistreated you. Like that's what I'm saying. Somebody fumbled a gift that was given to them. What's the emperor here with the four of pentacles? We got the moon. And there go your energy again, King of Wands. With the uh, nine of cups. Selfish. Someone here was at one point in time very selfish. Only really thought about themselves and what will work good for them. They never really thought about other people until somebody walked out of their life. Someone here could have literally thought that your they, that your energy was theirs. Child, that's a king of wands here. Like, there's a fire sign Aries here. There's an Aries here going through it. And again, this don't have to necessarily be you, Veer, that's watching. You could be cross watching for another Aries. But I'm definitely picking up on the Aries here that's going through it with people that they're trying to leave behind. That's what I'm getting. Give me some more for this Empress energy. We got the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. And whoever this person is. They don't want to work with this. They don't. They don't want to be with this person no more. Somebody's guarding themselves with the nine of wands here, eight of pentacles in reverse. Somebody don't want to work with another person no more. But someone felt blocked. They felt trapped. They felt like this person was holding them back. 
Let me see. What is this Eight of Pentacles in reverse with the Empress? Got the page of wands somebody felt held back from another person like they come prosper in life like this person whoever this empress energy is knew that they could not stay connected to an aries energy because that was holding them back this was a energetically though definitely energetically i need some more hair clarify this uh empress energy We got love message. Child, someone can still be connected to a third party. And this third party is like watching their phone to see if they're trying to connect to this empress. Mm -mm. This empress is minding their business, moving on with their life. And I feel like, what does Eight of Pentacles in reverse? I feel like whoever this empress is, she do not want to work with um whoever this person is that's missing her. Let me see here. We got karma blessing. Mm-hmm. Somebody don't want to work with another person here no more. Let me see. Give me some more of this Empress energy. Oh, child, the sun just came out, but it fell on woman. I seen the sun first, though. Oh, we got sun and woman. Yeah, someone like could it's crazy we got the sun at the bottom of the deck over here. Someone could definitely be like a Leo or something, or something about to get ready to get exposed. Or this, or this is someone that just someone made another person very happy. That's what I'm saying. Somebody came into a masculine's life and made them very, very happy. And if you are a feminine Aries, this is you. You came into somebody's life and made them very happy. You you made this person see their true selves. Let me some more in for this Empress. We got glow up with you are lost. You literally came into someone's life and helped them realize that they were really lost. And it's because of your glow, your shine. You made someone so happy. You have a very special energy about you, a very special glow about you. Like you are easily noticed here. You got an energy about you that cannot be duplicated or replaced. Someone could literally went out here trying to replace you with another person and they figured out that they could not. So now this person is like possibly trying to change their ways to get back, get you back into their life here. I don't know, child. It's giving that type of energy a little bit, though. It's definitely giving that. Let me see here. Give me one more for this gift. We got the chariot. Yeah, somebody wants to court another person. What's this chariot here? We got the five of wands. But see, this person is connected to a whole bunch of other women, and they don't think so. Somebody is, shh, child, and we got the seven of pentacles here at the bottom of the date with the sun and the lovers. With the four of wands, somebody know exactly who they, who they love, exactly who they're in love with, exactly who they want to celebrate with. Someone is, wants to build a future with another person here, but these energies that they already been connected to don't want to let them go that easily. What's this cherry here with this five of wands? Marriage. <laughs> These women like, ain't no way. You supposed to be marrying me. You supposed to be with me. And you trying to go be with someone else? Clarify this empress here. You got daydream. Baby, somebody cannot stop thinking about another person and the future with them. And how much this person... This person felt like they was in paradise with this empress. Oh my goodness. But these third parties here like, uh-uh, we don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. They don't like that. They don't like that. And this could even be somebody's family not wanting them to be with the empress here. This could be somebody's family with this black sheep and chosen one coming out. This could be a, a person's family and friends not wanting them to be with someone that's going to change them. Like, they, they people want them to stay low vibrational. Give me some more on this, uh, this uh, marriage here with the five of wands and the chariot. Child, we got childhood. It just came out. This could definitely be so... Wow. A third party. Ooh, we... Mm -mm. Give me one more here. And we got gossip. Wait, your family does not like you right here at the top. 
literally, I swear, a third party to an Aries here could definitely be their family. Someone's family could have set them up with low vibrational women because they knew this person was the black sheep. They knew this person was chosen and they always wanted to keep this person in low vibrational energy to siphon their energy. Oh my goodness. This King of Wands is a gift. This King of Wands is a gift. And this King of Wands has been wanting to change their ways. So you was brought in as a gift to this person to help them see that they can change. They don't have to stay the state they don't have to stay the way that they are. This person has been bullied because they're the black sheep of their family. They're the chosen one in their family. And you literally came into someone's life to wake them up to their true calling, to their true energy, to the truth about the people around them. Oh my gosh, this is so powerful. This is so powerful. Clarify this bully here with loss. We got the Six of Cups. Literally, this person is the chosen one in their family. There's a King of Wands here that's the chosen one in their family that needs to take a leap of faith on themselves and walk their, uh, their road that's less traveled. What's this Six of Cups? Got the four swords in reverse man somebody here oh we but right now somebody's at a stage where they are literally seeing that the same people that have been having their back that's been celebrating this person has has a lot of success here but it's low vibrational success this person gets money in low vibrational ways. They don't get money in no high vibrational energy. But they're starting to realize that the same people that's had their back while they was on a high horse that was celebrating them, that was basically like calling, coddling them, you know, telling them they don't, they, don't, they don't do no wrong, even though this person been acting out in low vibrational energy, hurting people, mistreating people, getting money in ways that they, they don't really need to be getting money in. Those same people are snakes. Maybe somebody going through a, a deep awakening here. What's the Six of Cups here with the Four of Swords in reverse? Look, bro, look who just came out. The Six of Wands in reverse. He's figuring out that the same people that was riding for him was never truly riding for him. They, didn't, they never wanted this man to see true success. Never. That was never really riding for you. Never. Oh my gosh. What's the six of wands in reverse? We got the three of wands. Cause somebody here like they wants to they want to do better for themselves. But I'm telling you, there's people around this person like, no, no, you know, you you are you already making money, you fine doing what you're doing. You don't have to change. Why would you why would you wanna, you know, you know, get more high vibrational? Why would you wanna start doing this and leave that behind? Type of energy here. What's the six of wands in reverse with the three of wands? We got the two of wands, heavy on the Aries energy. Two of wands, three of wands, that's, he that's a heavy Aries. Baby. Baby, a feminine that came into a masculine's life and completely changed him. Completely changed him. Completely. Give me some more here. Look at that. We have to work too hard. Someone is very low vibrational and always giving themselves up. Clarify the six of wands here specifically. Expose. And again, once again, we have your family does not like you. These people are being exposed. Man, I feel for whoever this is that's going through this because a masculine has literally been... Oh my gosh, like they've been going through it and don't even realize that the exact same people that's been rooting for them to stay in this low vibrational energy are the exact same people that's been so conniving behind their back because they're chosen, they're the black sheep. And it's time for somebody to wake up and realize that. That they're gonna have to lose a lot of family and friends though, unfortunately. Clarify the season ones and embrace with this exposed. Someone here is going to be pissed when they wake up uh, to something. We got introvert here. They're not going to see eye to eye with their people no more. We're cursed at the bottom of the day. Someone here is meant to break generational curses. But the people around them has been blocking them from hearing 
spirit, from hearing God, from hearing their higher self, this person has been walking around in arrogant energy, not listening, and wonder why they've been going through so much, but they seem to still have money. But it's low vibration of money. It's low vibration of success. This person is not as happy as they come off to be. They're successful in all the wrong ways. They're successful in ways they don't, they don't want to be successful. Give me one more here for this bully with loss. And then I, then I got the six of wands at the bottom of the deck again with the ace of swords. Somebody's about to receive clarity. What's this ace of swords? With the nine of pentacles. Someone's about to receive clarity on how they can truly take care of themselves. On their, their true identity here. What does Ace of Swords say with the Nine of Pentacles? God is about to receive, give somebody clarity on something. With the Ten of Cups. Something that's going to make them very happy. With the Knight of Pentacles here and the Emperor. But first someone has to walk, someone has to walk away. Someone's got to gotta, gotta go through ego death. Before they can get this justice, they have to go through ego death. And I feel like this is exactly what somebody's going through. Somebody's seeing the truth in themselves and seeing the truth in other people. I really feel that. Hmm, this is crazy. Give me some more help for this Ace of Swords, Ten of Cups, with the Nine of Pentacles. We got what's next. How can we how can we uh lie to this person next? How can we fool them next? They just keep it going. Every time they find this person about to wake up to their shenanigans, they, they do something else. Like I see confirmation. With throat chakra. Oh my goodness, they want to keep this person asleep. Someone is really going through a tough dark night of the soul here. Give me one more. And we got karmic. Give me some more for this. Child, curse just came out. Somebody is now realizing they have been put under some type of curse, under some type of spell away from their family, so they would never go on a self-love journey to find out who they truly are. To learn about who they truly are. With this coaching self-love, learn how to love themselves, learn how to put themselves first. Someone is sent here to break generation of curses. This person might have money, but they got it in all the wrong ways. And this person, they literally be picked on. By, this person gets bullied by people. Matter of fact, clear about this bully here specifically. This person gets bullied by people. And it's happened so much to them to, to the point where they just learn how to conform to the norm of their family. And we got, how do you keep going? But I'm also getting here like someone witnessed you get bullied. They witnessed you go through loss after loss. And they still see you rise. They still see you be happy. You are literally inspiring someone here. You're inspiring someone. They want to know how it is that you can... Do this, see, this person know that a lot of things that happen to them and a lot of things that happen in their family is wrong. Deep down inside, they know. But this person has become so conformed to being a people pleaser that it's kind of... I don't want to say it's hard for them to change it, but it's, they're just so used to being one way. Clarify this curse here, and I'm going to close it out. Someone is waking up, though. Someone's waking up here. Definitely going to take a minute. I know you do not like me, and you made it very clear. That's that generation of curse being put on someone. The spell work of not wanting to see them make it, not wanting to see them thrive, not wanting to see them do better, wanting to keep toxic cycles in the family going. And this person know that people around them don't like them, but they so used to being one way. But I feel like someone is changing here. This is changing for somebody. It's changing. I want to get one more to close it out for you, though, Aries. Let's close it out for my Aries here that's watching, feminine or masculine, that this is resonating for. What you want my Aries to know? Someone's changing. Ain't going to happen overnight, though. Look at that. We got good news at the bottom of the deck, but you are receiving some good news here. 
We got illness, triumph, with calm, inner peace, simplicity, success. With weakness. It's like at first you're going to have to feel fragile. You're going to cry about something. It's something about your childhood, specifically. Something about your childhood is going to come up. But it's going to be a need for you to learn through these experiences and see what it taught you to build up your strength so you can find that peace and be victorious and not feel like a victim here. And then you're going to receive some type of good news here where God is going to help you. God is going to help aid you through something. Clarify this illness with uh, calm and triumph. Oh, snap. We got the Ace of Cups. Child, where it go? <laughs> we got the Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. It's all about doing the work right now and moving forward. And you want to be protected on your journey. Let me get this part up. Oh, the Ace of Cups. We got the Ace of Cups here. Yeah, someone has to go on a self-love journey with this Ace of Cups and do the work. Oh, wow. We got the lovers in reverse. Because right now, somebody does not feel chosen. They don't feel loved. This is all about someone loving themselves and learning when to say no to others and yes to them. Yes to their dreams, their aspirations, to the things that really make them happy. Finding themselves, working through that pain. What does Ace of Cups with the lovers in reverse? Someone has never felt love by, they, by people around them. They never felt love with the Nine of Pentacles again. Someone never felt love. But they have always been admired for what they have. King of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles. Someone here never, they never really go without money. But there could be a possibility here that someone's going to have to go through a tired moment when it comes to their money. What does uh, Lovers in Reverse specifically? What's the Lovers in Reverse specifically? Child, then we got the Lovers right here with the Four of Wands. Someone has never felt love by the people around them. You see the sun peeking out? We got the Lovers here with the Hermit. Someone has to go on a journey of self-love and find themselves with this Hermit. Someone has to go into Hermit mode and heal and do the work. They're going to have to love themselves because the ones around them are never going to truly love them because they want to keep toxicity going. What's this four one shit with the lovers in reverse? Look at that. Give yourself a hug. You got to show yourself that you love you. You are a God. You are God. We all are part of the creator. I mean, yes, talk to the creator. Talk to God. But just know that you are also a part of God. You have to help God work, work with you. We got unbothered. Give me one more here. A little bit sure for your age. And spell work right here at the top of the deck. Yeah, someone's getting ready to break through a lot of spell work here. And you're going to eventually get to a point in your life where a lot of things that you experience are not going to bother you. And it's just going to help push you forward. Help you help build your strength, you know. Remind you of where you came from and where you're going. But yeah, that's what I have for you guys, Aries. I really hope you guys enjoy the message. And I'll see you in the next video. Ashe.